So over here, you can see that I have Audacity opened up and I can start doing things right here. So I can go around into the record button. I can start recording my audio. I can go around, stop it and do different things like rename this out. I can import out different things. So I can simply start working around according to how I like it right here. I can go around, make some edits right here, cut out the audio just like this. So whatever I do, what happens is that it get, get saved out in project history so that you can go back uh, if you've done some mistake. So you can basically undo it out. So to quickly undo out the thing, you can go around and press Control Z on your keyboard and then everything undoes out right here. Press Control Z a um, number of times and it goes back a few steps. I'm just going to go around and then edit this out right here. And then if I were to undo this out, you can see that I can go to read, uh, edit and redo out as well if I were, was unsure about the undo. But if you were to make some changes after uh, the undo, then you don't have the redo option anymore right here. So in order to go around on to a particular step, you can access project history as well so that it's easy to undo back out into the exact step you want. So I can go around over here on to, uh, let's say, for example, on to view right here. And then over here, you can see history is an option. So once you click on history, you can see that all the actions has been recorded right here. So you can see that these are the spaces right here. So it's total of 88 MB used. And until you close out the uh, project itself, the undo, the history remains right there in the memory. So I can go around here, you can see that I started deleting right here. So let's say I want to go to the exact moment where I imported out the audio. I can directly click here and I can see the project changes out just like this. So you can go to the exact step where uh, you, you started working and press OK. And this is how it looks. And that is how you can work around with the project history inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.